Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today we're working in Resolve again. And what I'm going to show you how to do now is actually export your video so you can get it up to YouTube. It's a little tricky the first time going around, but once I show you, you'll be ready to go. Okay, what we have here is a video that's already been edited. And now we're going to go ahead and start with the exporting process. So what you're going to do is navigate down to the bottom to the little rocket ship looking icon. You're going to go ahead and push that. It's going to throw you into the screen here. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional video editor, but I found out what works for me and I'm going to go ahead and show you. So what I'm going to do is navigate over here, select the YouTube preset. There's a drop down here if you need to do 720p, 1080p or 4K. And most people will probably just want to do 1080p regular HD. So we'll go ahead and select that. Next, you're going to go ahead and name the file if you'd like to. If you need to move the location of the exported file, you can do so by clicking the Browse button and then selecting where you'd like it to be. But we're going to keep it on desktop for now. Next, you're going to move down here and look at your, your settings here. Um, depending on what you need to do here, I'll probably switch mine to 30. Everything else, we're going to keep the same. Okay, we're going to go with the defaults here. So next on your list of things you're going to have to do is click this Add to Render Queue. And what that's going to do is move it over to here where your render queue is. Let me delete this one here and make sure it's empty so you can see what it looks like. So you click add to render queue. And what's going to happen is going to add it to the render queue here. And when you're all ready to go, which you should be now, you're going to go ahead and click start render. Okay, now our render is finished. So let's go ahead and have a look on the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this program here. Close this out and we're going to look around for our project, which was called test export, which is right here. Let me drag it over here so you can kind of see it. Okay. Well, that's it. You have successfully exported your video to your desktop and now it's ready to upload to YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or wherever the heck you'd like to export it to. On that note, we're all finished here today. And as usual, peace and aloha. See you next time.